Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. Where in today's episode we are heading uh, down this route, I believe. Route 15, I think, which means we're going to catch some new Pokemon. That's exciting. Uh, yeah, let's just jump right. Well, let's, I mean, let's, we defeated Team Flare at the Pokeball Factory. That was good. Uh, the team is looking pretty solid. Ashworth got in some victories, which uh, I guess warmed him up a bit to the team. Juge, of course, already, uh, you know, was more welcoming of anyone else. Uh, Xylia also seemed uh, cool, cool with Ashworth from the beginning, g giving her her time to shine in the icy sunlight, which is not something you hear very often, but, you know, ice and sunlight, typically not uh, going very well together. Chloe, oh, still pretty iffy on uh, Ashworth here, which I mean, you know, Chloe are pretty suspicious to begin with of just anything. Um, and then you can see that Xylia and Ashworth, our newer team members, are now on par level-wise with Goyrin, which I don't think Chloe likes either. So anyway, I got Goyrin up front. We're going to do some battles, probably. That's how these routes typically work. And we're off! Ba-boom. I did check. I don't know if I remember. I, <laughs> I got I was like, did I check to see if anyone could learn Dazzle and Gleam? Uh, I did check. Nobody can. So, that's a bummer. You guys have free stuff? Do you have free stuff? I don't care what you're saying. No. 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 Okay, bye. Here we go. Man, you notice my tank top right now it says, Soil Global is high. That's because it's high. Because uh, we are heading out today to head to Washington, D.C. for two things. One, Spartan Race tomorrow, which seems crazy. I feel like it has not been on my mind at all because this week has been filled with so many other insane things like hitting... 2 million subscribers. That was pretty amazing. Oh, hey, look. Fight. Surprise! I know you didn't invite me, but here I am. <clears throat> My wedding anniversary. The anniversary of the Super Carly Brothers channel. <clears throat> oh, lots of stuff. But, but then, on top of that, just, yes, also, also, we're going to DC this weekend for a meetup and a Spartan race. So, it's going to be oh, just a really cool week. All around. All around. Ba -ba 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 Extra sensory, go! Level 39? What is with this Quagsire? Why is it so strong? Ugh. Amnesia? I don't need that in my life. I don't need you Quagsiring, special defensing all over the place. Boy, how lame is it that Goyrin still has to deal with cut, of all things? Mmm. I don't like that he used Amnesia. That's going to make him significantly more resistant to extra sensory here. But let's see how it does anyway. Go, Goyrin. We don't, oh, well, hmm, this could be painful. Uh, oh, no, we got this. What did that do? Accuracy down, though? <sighs> I think we got it. You got this, Goyrin. Yeah, no accuracy loss for us. You don't get to be team leader with accuracy loss. Okay, so now we have one final shot. If we hit him with extra sensory, he's down. Otherwise, we're going to fall asleep, and then we're going to have to switch. So here we go. Let's do it. Boom, extra sensory. Boom. Yeah, that's right. We don't lose focus. We just knock out Quagsires. That's how we do. Well done, Goyrin. That's why you're the leader. Uh, and we're asleep. You, you've earned a rest. We'll probably have to switch out now to, to take a bear tick. Oh, 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 well, we had a bear tick once. That was a thing. Uh, Chloe, yo. let's go. Bear tick's so cool. So cool looking. Well, the levels on this route are uh, no joke, though. Slash, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right, right. But did you know that Chloeo learned Flamethrower? I don't know if you did know, but she did. And you about to melt, Ice Bear. Wow. Swagger! Oh, probably an effective move against Chloeo, I'm not gonna lie. She got some swagger. Hmm, this guy's all about the Mr. X. He's like, accuracy loss? Sleeping? Confusion? Yeah, all right, Pokemon Ranger. Do we trust Chloeo to just straight up wreck this thing, though? I think so. I think so. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Thanks for the attack boost, but we're used to it. Boom. Goyrin 37. 
Mm -hmm. Man, we're going to have to do some grinding, I'm thinking, because these guys are no joke. Like, obviously, our team is strong enough that we can just coast through uh, pretty unscathed for that fight, but it only takes one bad attack, doesn't it? Do we have an awakening somewhere? Do we have an awakening? Full heal, anyway. We'll just use that on the Glorinator. We have some, like, light potion anywhere. <laughs> nah, we're good. Wild guard. There we go. All right, let's catch something. I didn't even mean to fight that guy. He popped out of the grass. What's it gonna be? What we gonna catch? Who's it gonna be? All right, first encounter, new root. It's, oh, a scoruppy. Oh, ho, ho. Now that's interesting, isn't it? Man, we should have come out here before we fought the fairy gym. That's what I'm hearing. Uh... Then we would have had a real poison type. Anyway, I don't want to kill it. Let's just, well, the cut probably won't kill it. Let's see how that does. See, it is useful. Oh, it's not useful. Hone claws. Great. Cool. Fun. Love that. Once again, these people building gyms right next to their weaknesses. Shadow Ball? This might be too strong. This might have been a terrible mistake. No, apparently Skoropi has insane defense. Don't you poison me. Oh, Goyrin absorbing, absorbing all of the <laughs> status effects today. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Um, we don't want to deal with that whilst we catch. So we're going to switch to the old, the old fat horn while we throw our Pokeballs at this thing. Do, 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 do. All right. Skoruppi is such a cool Pokemon. Like, <laughs> of course it is. It's like the Scorpion Pokemon. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and try and catch it, though. Ultra Ball. I was like, do we have Ultra Balls? We, oh, Master Ball. No, boy, wouldn't that be a terrible misclick? Never accidentally throw your Master Ball at a rogue Skoruppi. Yeah, we got it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm trying to remember, does XY have like a, a trio of legendary Pokemon? Like, they've got like the XYZ Pokemon, but like, there's not like the, the lake trio or the legendary birds or the dogs or the like three musketeers or whatever, right? Yes, we need a nickname. Holy, let's go. Is there? Boy, I'm going to feel real dumb. Is that the genies? Is that what's in this one? Mm, that might be it. That might be it. Uh, we gotta go find a name real quick. Xerxen! Welcome to the box. There we go. Alright, we're gonna go. I'm just gonna go to the Pokemon Center real quick. Hold on, be right back. Just wanted to heal up Goyer in there. What's in here? Oh, it's just a pile of leaves. Oh, some of them are trainers and some of them are piles of leaves. Ooh, some of them are Pokeballs. That's fun. Nice. Da, 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 da. Um, this girl looks like she might have stuff that's weak to a certain Ashworth on the team. As I was going through the comments trying to find a, uh, a name for Xerxen, I... Actually, their namesake uh, was suggesting uh, Tentacool from the box, saying that uh, perhaps Ashworth was too much of a glass cannon and that we had more dedicated poison types, um, which might be true. But what I really like about Ashworth, as far as this playthrough is concerned, is that it's sort of like a, I don't know, I'm going to say specialty Pokemon and that you have to trade with a friend a specific kind of Pokemon, which I think is cool. I've certainly never used it. I forgot it even existed, and I think it looks amazing. Struggle Bug! A boom yeah boy struggle bug is like meant to fight like psychic pokemon isn't it <laughs> it's like lower your special attack and it's super effective and kabam kablam doom yeah plus yes tentacruel be a super bulky water type poison type um that would be good and there's like lots of fairies but at the same time i like having a little uh my little glass cannon here uh you know we gotta have gotta gotta mix it up and 
That's what I'm going with. So, do I want to go through there or no? We went. We made it. We made it. Oh, boy. So many. Now it makes it look like should we have gone up there? Oh, there's a trainer. Whoa, don't sneak up on me like that. Uh, says the guy hiding in leaves. Jeez. I'm sorry, Pokemon Ranger Dean. Watch all. Oh, boy. All right. All right. Look at this guy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, 37, huh? Let's do a little toxic. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Well, that was terrible. All right. See? Glass cannon intact. Cool, 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 cool. Watch. If he pursues me, so help me. He looks like he might. He looks like it. Look at that thing. Look at his eyes. He looks so evil. Why is Watchog so creepy? Ah, I don't like it one bit. I do not like it one bit. Mm-hmm. Um. Xyla, you handle this. You can take this guy. You've got it. Actually, we probably should have gotten a fatter horn so we could use power up punch. Whatever. Hyper Fang again. I hate Hyper Fang. It's like a crit machine over there. Oh, but you got that Rocky helmet. How did that taste on your teeth, I guess? Ice Beam! Psych up. Boy, this thing's not messing around. No, wait. It copied something? What did it use? Oh, it's a glass cannon, too. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. It's scaring me with that. It scared me. I'm waiting for the crit. I'm like, oh no. What's gonna happen? Well done, Xylia. Nice fight. Ash worth your load of 37. Giga Drain. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. A Giga Drain. Oh, I'm sure. A nutrient draining attack. The user's HP is restored by half the damage taken by the target. Let's see. Well, power 75, accuracy 100. So the question is, like, hmm. So protect is good right now because we have toxic and that can like just waste turns for the opponent, you know, and that builds the toxic. But toxic was really a way to make Venoshock more viable. So, let's see. If we got rid of Venoshock, we wouldn't have quite the combo with Toxic. If we got rid of Toxic, then Venoshock isn't as powerful and Protect becomes a little less usable. If we got rid of Protect, Toxic becomes less usable. Struggle Bug's already our stab move, so I'm in a bit of a conundrum here. Let's see, what is your deal? 65. So that gets doubled if it's already been toxic. Um, so that makes this way, but right? That's how it works. Yeah. So that seems way better. Plus they're poisoned. Plus we're part of our strategy, so. Uh, and then this, it seems like, well, we should keep our bug move, because stab. All right. I'm not saying I'm going to keep toxic vendor shock forever, but... I think for the moment, I'm just going to keep our current lineup. I think that's it. They, like, they all work pretty well together. Keep old moves. Sorry. Yeah, bye, Giga Drain. I'm sure you're a very good move. Swoobat. Oh, ooh, interesting. Okay. Uh, well, Ice Beam should still be still pretty good against this. Ooh, calm mind. I don't like the sound of that one bit. No, I do not. Don't need your special defense rising and your special attack. Okay. It feels like we're in a bad range, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we do not have that many potions. Whoops. Should have stocked up on those when I went to the Pokemon or the Pokemon Center. Let's see how this does. Future Sight. Oh, I don't like the sound of that one bit. All right. Ice Beam. Finish this thing. But this guy's all about the crits, isn't he? He's got the... The question is, does Future Sight work even if the Swoobat dies? I don't know. It doesn't seem like that should work. 
Cedra. Interesting. Have you heard of Thunderbolt? Now that shouldn't do anything, though, right? Woo! Oh! It does work! Uh, well, I don't like that one bit. No siree, Bob. Hmm. Good to know. Almost glad that happened right here in this tiny little trainer battle. Rather than... Oh, man, I would have healed up. That would have been amazing. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Rather than, like, in an important moment. So, we shall see if learning about Future Sight affects us later down the line. If we'll know to, like... I think maybe we can switch out of that. 37, look at that. All three of our 36s, now 37. Brine! How does this work? If the target's HP is half or less, this attack power will hit double the power. So if they're already hurt, they get more hurt. Basically is what I'm seeing. We can't get rid of Surf, though. Um, What is this? This is already power 90. And this is double the power. Hmm. So that would bring it up to 130. Which is insanely strong. But if they're already under half, it seems like you're probably in a pretty good spot to knock them out anyway. The only thing we could really get rid of is Thunderbolt. Well, because these two are so, like Surf so consistent and Ice Beam is the, just the Ice version of Surf and uh, Body Slam. I mean, we could get rid of Body Slam, but it's also pretty good neutral wise. Thunderbolt, it's forgettable. It's just sort of there. I guess Brian could be a more dependable killer than Surf is, but I don't, I mean, eh. more coverage. Thunderbolt's also a TM, though, so if we really want it back, we can just get it back. Let's just think about it like that. Ba-boom. I mean, what does Thunderbolt give us coverage on? Really just gives us coverage on water stuff, which is already not a threat to Xylee because of water absorb, mostly. So, oh my gosh, these guys are freaking everywhere. Here we go. Here we go. Gabite. <laughs> oh. Oh, you needed healing, didn't you? Whoops. Okay. <laughs> Gonna head right on back to Xylea here. Gabite is no joke. Big. Oh, sneaky. Man, see, we could have toxic to that guy because then he would <laughs> he'd just taking a bit of damage underground and we'd be like, protect. Not that I could have predicted him doing that. He's definitely going to be faster than us. We're just going to ice beam him after he does his dig. Oh, Herp at the Rocky Helmet. <laughs> it seems like such a weird item for her to have, but it keeps working. <laughs> I like it. Man, if we had a, uh, if we had our own Gabite or Gible or Garchomp or whatever that had rough skin plus the Rocky Helmet, that'd be pretty good. Like <laughs> any physical attack at all, bring it on. <laughs> or, um, yeah, that'd be cool. That would be cool. I think uh, Chestnut learns an attack called Spiky Shield which like does essentially the same thing. That would have been fun too. Doo -doo -doo. Surfing, 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 surfing. What's over here? Oh, okay. That's nice. I'm going to go buy some potions actually real quick since we're uh, so low on stuff. And we're back on the route. This looks like an item, right? Yeah. A revive. <laughs> How pointless. We can just sell those, can't we? We don't revive things. Things just die. Revival is a lie. Oh, horde battle. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Murkrow. Uh, run. 
<laughs> you can tell the game has to think about it. That's like roll the dice on like five escapes at once. They're like, did you, can't, did you successfully run? Yeah, man. It's the worst when you can't run from a horde battle and then you're stuck like waiting for five attacks to go through. Oh, it's terrible. Oh my gosh. These guys are everywhere. Can anyone just be standing out in the open? Pedro. All right, your vial plume's going down. That's what Ashworth has to say on the matter. That's what I think, anyway. Uh, we're not going to be able to toxic it, but... Struggle bug. Oh my gosh, so much. What? Was I told... Is, bug, is that bug not effective against grass? I must have been wrong about that. Okay, either way, still going down. Uh... <laughs> We have a certain fire lion who just loves burning down um, smiling flowers. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Mega drain. <laughs> Good try. Good try. That's adorable. Critical hit. Look at that. Oh, would you heal yourself like half a percent? That's amazing. Also, though, flamethrower. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Stun spore. Yeah. You can't. You can't just. Yeah, hitting Chloe with Stunspore is a little trickier than Ashworth. Alright, she's got a little more battle experience, and um, now she's breathing fire, so she probably blasted that right out of the air, if I had to guess. We couldn't see it, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. 3280. A boom! Flying through here. Okay. Let's see. Let's do... We've been going for... Well, 26 minutes. Okay. Not two shabs. Not two shabs. Uh, this looks like a fight. I'm going to heal Ashworth real quick of his paralysis. If I can find my full heals, which I can totally read. There it is. There it is. Very good. Who is going to be a good teammate for Ashworth in this scenario? Let's go. With Gorin, little new guy, team leader situation going on. What do you guys want? You creepy sister duo? That's what it looks like. Mysterious sisters, rune and rhyme, drift bim and floet. <laughs> Weird. All right. Um, let's go Veno Shock on the Floet. And let's go uh, Extra Sensory on the Drift Blim. Right? That seems like a good combo of moves. Super effective, anyway. This is going to be very specially defensive Pokemon, though. Drift Blim hat. Oh, no. Oh! <gasps> no! <laughs> I thought we were safe. Oh. Oh, we Oh. Oh, I saw that first one and it stopped at four and I, I like, I was like, oh no, oh, this is bad. This is bad, the joke. What? Um. Mm. That's bad. That's not good at all. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay. Oh, well, Chloe is going to be bad. This is not going to be good. Oh, God. Gorin? Oh, I'm so sorry. I... No. 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 Why does this keep happening? Okay. Oh, boy, that really sucks. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um... 
Who can fight the dumb drift them? That's the question. On the flow act. Um, let's go with Adderall to fight the flow act. That's what's going to happen here. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad that that just happened. Oh, Glorin, that sucks. Toxic on the drift blim. Body slam on the floette. Yeah. You sit there and think about your poison. Hex! Oh, I cut your hat. No. Ugh! It's everyone! Oh, great. This is a small consolation. I cannot believe freaking Goyrin. No. Ah. Oh, it's so not good. It is so not good. I'm not. I could sit here and protect. Oh, I'm so angry. That's what we should do. Yeah. Protect on Ashworth. And then you can't hit it at all. Uh we have to switch. Okay. Um, let's go to Xylia. Let's go to Xylia. Maybe we'll use Brine. Oh my gosh, that's so lame. Oh, look, are you under half? Are you under half of your stupid health? Because I have a move just for that. Now. If you kill another one of my Pokemon. Oh my God. with you on every level <sighs> no no it wasn't okay i think that's what we're gonna call today's episode oh my gosh i'm so sorry goyrin i'm so sorry <sighs> oh no well my goodness the rogue pedal blizzard for a second, I was like, 4 HP. Oh my god, we need to switch. And then the second attack came. The second attack. <sighs> Just like that. Well, please leave your uh, condolences for Goyrin in the towel section down below. And uh, I'll see you next time. See you next time. <sighs> Bye.